folks, we're back again. Oh, it is kind of funny that I'm giving this the, practically the Star Wars Connect treatment here. But, um, and also I'd really like to apologize for, uh, the, the lack of commentary in the previous couple sections, whatever. Anyway, um, let's get on with the bowling, uh, because, yeah, I found out you do not get to unlock the next sport for the main game until you do, in fact, beat the previous one. And I take back all of the nice things I said about soccer. Fuck soccer. Fuck soccer so hard. Because in reality, all it really is is just doing a kick at the right time, but the detection is so wonky and shaky that it's really hard to get the timing right, because sometimes, like, setting up to kick it will detect as a kick, and it takes so long to get back in the position where you can do the kick and you can try again at stuff like that. Um, anyway, the reason I'm giving this sort of the Star Wars Connect treatment and really trying to get in here, I think I'm going to review this. Because, oh ye gad, this is a very disappointing game. You see, it, it kind of has some meaning behind it. Um, because this is the Connect 2.0. And with the original Connect, I remember everyone going, oh, the Connect will work eventually, they'll patch it, it'll get good. That's the great thing about the Connect, is it's like almost all software, so it'll work eventually, it's going to get so great in the future, and then it didn't. And then everyone was like, oh, well, the, uh, the Connect 2.0 is going to be so much, uh, it's gonna be so much better. I should pay attention and see if there's any nuances I'm missing, I think. What do you got about spin? Oh, you're claiming you're gonna detect my wrist rotation. I severely doubt that. I think it's going to be all in the arm afterwards. But we'll find out. But yeah. Uh, everyone was like, yo, the Connect 2.0 is gonna be so much better. And so many people were raving about how much better, like, the next Kinect will be. Well, now the next Kinect is fucking here. And yeah, it's a disappointment. Like, this... Well, rather, this is where we're finding out that it's a disappointment. Okay. Gotta try and put some spin on it. And no dice. <laughs> Not going nearly as well as that last time. But yeah, this is where we're finding out it's a disappointment. The Kinect... 2.0 didn't launch with, uh, with the same, uh, with a thing. But where, is, do I have a ball in my hand or not? Uh, okay, now what's going on? Now you're having trouble detecting me. Okay, uh, yep, grab, good, it's grab. Yeah, no, not really detecting any wrist rotation, it's all in the arm. So I thought I was uh, actually messing with wrist rotation. But actually, we'll mess with wrist rotation right now. Um, next time it shows my character. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I don't really see any wrist rotation being detected there. It's detecting the arm rotation, but wrist, wrist, not so much. Woo! Wrist rotating. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how about you stop bullshitting me, Connect? Ah. Uh, Barely detecting my grab here. There we go. Oh, wow, it really wants me to make a fist. Gotcha. It is kind of detecting rotation there. Sort of. Woo, there's one left. Um, but yeah. Like, the... The Xbox One didn't really launch with any, uh... With any proper Kinect games. It, uh... You know, it had, what's the name of that? I have it, uh, Fighter Within. I forgot to post my playthrough of that. Well, picture and picture like. That actually impressed me more than this. Now that I've really gotten into it. Um, but yeah, so we were, those of us who are, there we go. Yeah, it is literally all the arm movement. Um, but yeah, we were waiting on this. because th This should be the showpiece thing that shows off what the Kinect 2.0 can do. And, again, that matters because Microsoft was stupid enough to actually package the Xbox One with it, jacking up the price. So you'd expect it to actually be, like, really, really good. And of course it's not. It's crap. 
This is a uh, This is well It's not really much of an improvement over the original like I'll give it credit um What's the name of that thing uh steel battalion heavy armor would work on this because that's basically what menu navigation in this is like Ugh. All right, Wolf Clan. Yeah, let's let's do that. Yeah, like this kind of crap is basically what they were trying to do in one thing. Now, what does a tribe have to do with bowling? Yeah. Oh yeah, um, this reminded me, we, uh, <laughs> there are other problems with this piece of crap. Um, alright, that's interesting. State Farm Bowling! Thank you, State Farm. I'm glad you're inexplicably sponsoring this game. But yeah, all uh, those cutscenes, they are indeed unskippable. And, uh, why is it only certain matches are sponsored by State Farm anyway? Do they not, I, I don't even, but anyway, um, yeah, the, the those cutscenes are unskippable. If you exit the menu and you go back when you're constantly retrying an event, you'll keep watching them again and again. And yeah, I did that a lot. It took me a good five, six tries to actually, uh, beat that one piece of shit, uh, the soccer. Ooh. Oh, that probably wants me to raise my hand first. Okay, now we get, like, this, this is better. I like how much one-to-one -one there is here. Even, well, not really one-to-one, -one, but faux, <sighs> near one-to-one, -one. like, Crappy, laggy one-to-one? -one? I don't know. I don't know how to describe what's going on here. Because I move and it moves, and that's nice, but it's all it's all a little off and inaccurate and wonky, as you can see. It's kind of bumbly. Just the, the connect is not as good as you might think it is. It's... Uh, just, uh, this fucking game. BAM! Um, what was I saying? Just, yeah, like, I think what I'd say about the Kinect 2.0, it is an improvement over the previous Kinect, but not enough of one. It's, uh, it's, it's doing the things we expected of the first Kinect after we lowered our expectations. Like, again, you could probably do Steel Battalion Heavy Armor on this one without having major issues. Which was something the original Kinect should have been able to do. I mean, it really should have been able to do that. That's what it was It was built around. The thing is, like, the original Kinect, after we lowered the expectations, but still thought it could be functional. This... <sighs> and yeah, this, this is what we've got. I mean, how can... And I'm sure people will be like, oh, well... And someone's going to insist they just don't know how to use the, the new Kinect, which I would call... Such bullshit on. Cause, I mean, think about it. These are, this is in-house Microsoft. This is basically their Kinect team. And they're not doing it right. <laughs> you know, if, if they can't do it, how can you expect someone else to get it right? As before, like really, I think the Kinect is a bad idea. This is not what you should be aiming for with motion control. Detecting the whole body doesn't really do a whole lot. It's better to just detect a single point very accurately than the whole body kind of wonkily. 
And if you could detect the whole body accurately... Well, again, it, it needs more nuance. I actually found out something interesting. I was looking on game FAQs, and someone posted there who is a guy who doesn't have a left hand. He was born without one. Which would make you say, well, why would you even try to play a Kinect game? But then you remember, oh, wait, you don't need a controller. It's detecting your whole body. You think you wouldn't really need your left hand. And he's a, I think he said he was like a physical therapist or something. So he was actually thinking about how he could use the Kinect to help, like, his patients in rehab. But uh, he was having some issues because since he doesn't have a left hand... The connect detection flips the fuck out. Like, it... It does not recognize amputees and people who are missing limbs. Like, he has his arm, apparently, just not his hand. And so everyone's all like, oh, well, the connect can detect your arm. Yeah, but it, like... I think it anchors itself on your on your hand. So those are, like, your the anchor points. And without a hand, it gets... It freaks the fuck out. I don't know what good that glowy crap's gonna do. Oh, get me, got me a strike. A double strike, I guess. Whatever. Basically, yeah. I also remembering, like, the structure on this game. Um, it kind of reminds me of a lot of the other Kinect games, especially Kinectimals. Oh, good lord. Don't even get me started on that piece of crap. Where it's, like, way overly structured, and it's like, you have to, I don't know, there's strike. You, like, you have to do the tutorials, you have to, turkey! You have to, yeah, you have to do the tutorial, you have to do the mini games in order, and a lot of people on the message boards are complaining, they're like, this is the number one problem with the game. And someone come in, came up and they were like, yo, you're being such a pussy about this. Because, yo, it doesn't take that long to, uh, learn to play, and then play through a match and stuff. But, again, what if you get stuck on soccer like I did? I mean, I've been at this for, like, I think we're on, yeah, we're, like, about on day three now. I've been at this a while trying to get, trying to get through the tutorial phase. Because it is a motion-controlled game. So it does take a lot out of you, so you don't want to play it in long spurts. As someone said, it doesn't appeal to casual or hardcore players. Because the casual players, they want to get scanned in, and they want to go into the sport they wanted. Like, one guy was like, how do I get to fucking bowling? I want to I wanna do fucking bowling. And he he was, they were like, no, you have to either do the, the quick event, the quick matches, or you have to beat all this crap, like there's all this stuff in the way. And people just want to do what they want to do. And the other big question is, why can't you use your avatar, your in-game avatar, in the quick matches? That doesn't make any damn sense. Oh good, I win. But like, yeah, it doesn't make any damn sense that you can't use your custom characters in the quick matches when they're already logged in. It, it's dumb, this is really poorly structured. I just realized this doesn't actually have online play. I was looking for it earlier. But there's no online play here. Um. Dude, you asked me to. I don't... I don't know why there's a clan of heroes, tribality people, and hackers on an island dedicated to sports. I'm not really following the narrative of this game. Alright, so what's the time looking like? Hmm... I think we got enough time to uh to move on and try to try the tennis. Like I want to see what happens after I get through all the events and this is the last event. And this is one I'm gonna pay attention to, because 
I, I really hope there's more to it than just, you know, timing and swatting in the general direction of the ball, but I have reason to believe there isn't. I might actually do a review of this, because I'm surprised how crap it is. I'm so glad it's getting middling to low review scores. That makes me happy. Look, IGN actually ran an article talking about how great the Kinect 2.0 is based on the demo of Kinect Sports Rivals. You know, the one where you do the jet skis, which is exactly like the pod racing in Star Wars Kinect, without, like, really any exception. They were like, oh, this is so amazing! No, it's exactly the same as what we did on the original Kinect. Identical. Not really much better. You're about to get court martial on the tennis court. <laughs> That's right. Oh, you wish you had Coach's natural gift for comedy. Let's go. Reach out with your left or right hand to grab a racket. To Whoa. serve, throw the ball up with your free hand and swing to hit it. Be ready to swing again when it comes back at you. Aim your shots by swinging left or right. Hit the ball when it reaches the sweet spot to make it tougher for your opponent to return. To put top spin on it, swing your arm from low to high. Dad Baxton, you got it. Swing from high to low. I really wish I knew what that meant. For all these tennis games, I'm still not sure what top spin really means. Okay. All right. Reach out and grab a racket. I ain't got a day. Buckle up. All right. You had your thing this time. Throw the ball up and hit it. Yay. Woo. But yeah, I'm I'm really happy this is actually getting kind of lowish review scores. Like, I think the lowest it's getting is like 4 out of 10, thus far, judging by Metacritic. But yeah, it deserves, like I was saying, yeah, that's right. There's no online play. Which is amazing, because that was like the selling point of Connect Sports Rivals was, uh... The, like, the, the whole concept is it's you versus the world. That's what it says on the back of the box. What, like, they were, it really seemed like they were trying to focus on this being, like, a big competitive thing. Ow. Stupid chair. Like, they were really trying to focus on this being a big competitive thing, and then it's, it's not really. Give me a super racket, whatever that means. Hey, that means I can make that happen for some reason. That made no sense. It just I hit it from under my legs by swinging to the side, and then it went through her. Yay. Shut up and go away. Training complete. I want to know what happens when I join one of the clans. Like, if I get any of the clan outfits. Take on the State Farm Rookie Challenge! Give Viper Network an advantage. Okay. Get me in there. Awesome, it's you. Listen, Zara has just taken on a hot challenge from Wolf and Eagle. They think they can beat me and undermine my leadership! Girls will be girls, but I won't let it stand. She's totally like having a boss fight. <laughs> I need a partner. Frankly, I don't trust anyone I know. So how about you, rookie? You might not be a total disaster. <laughs> let's go, let's go. For great justice. Sure, why not? Hey, it's Carmen. Get the fuck out of Tutorial Town. Oh my fuck. This takes forever. 
Also, for some reason, there's a smudge on the side of my face. I don't know why that is. Really weird. Seriously, look at it. There's a smudge there. On my cheek. What the fuck? But yeah, like, basically when you replay events, it has course ghosts or drive avatars or whatever of other people online's characters, but it's still just computer opponents. You don't actually play online against anyone. Meaning this game continues its trend of being about smoke and mirrors. Because I, I think they're really hoping to convince people that this game's... Like, th think about how that would seem to, like, a more casual player. <laughs> like, they, they go into an event and they're like, oh, it's me versus the world. Oh, wow, look at all these people with all these usernames. Wow, those are real people. And they don't really realize that, no, no, they're not. You're not waiting on them. And they're like, oh, yeah, this is super amazing technology. Like, there, there will be people who won't realize that it's, it's just friggin' bots based loosely on people. Dang it. Can you handle this or not? Well, at least I have all the events unlocked. Ah, ah, balls. Tennis balls. Get, get hit. One step closer to Winsville. Dang it. Bonk! Freaking go in! Yay, a point for me! I hope these games are short. But okay, yeah, it is just timing and you can adjust the spin on it but it's really just where how your arm moves everything is just how your arm moves but sloppy so basically like again it would be better to just have a move if you're just going to detect my arm movements then why even bother why even bother trying to k detect my full body if it doesn't do anything? Or doesn't do much of anything, I should say. Like, this is really loose what they're doing here. I completely understand why. Like, the wonkier your motion control, the less you can rely on it to be accurate, and the more leeway you have to have in your game design. Come on, come on, get over here. You know what? Ha! I mock you, Connect. I mock you. Ah! I mock you so hard right now. <laughs> Yo, really, just having a thing in my hand does make it just feel better. Dang it! Dang it! Do you think she'd be open to a financial incentive? This could make me a little unhappy. This feels better to have something in my hand, damn it. Which I guess I'm proving the connect kind of loosely gives you the option for. I mean, they could put a move on the connect, nothing stopping them except their own embarrassment. That was weird. Yeah, yeah, point for me. Get out of here. We need to need to make progress. Mm. 
Yay! Fucking get fucked. Yay, you got fucked. I win. I win. I'm not making my avatar dance nearly enough. Really? Another one of these? Can't we just be done? I mean, admittedly, I'm not having fun with any... Uh, the closest I have to having fun is... Is the jet skiing. I understand why that's the demo now. Because, yeah, the jet skiing is the best this game's got. It would be better with a regular-ass controller. Dang it. I can be serious. Final game, damn right. Yay, a point for me. Fuck off, Max. Just fuck off. Yay! Goal! Woo! Boom. Oh, also, that Avateer thing that was actually kind of neat. You cannot do that out, like, after you create your character. Like, there's no way to just... Well, no way I've found. That's the reason I want to get past this. I want to see if maybe it opens up the Avatar. Microsoft, if you're listening, can you patch the Avatar in? I'd really appreciate it. There we go. It'd be funny if it was like you were using a move, weren't you? Singles winner, yay! Me, this game probably has doubles, which will be awkward. Okay. Either way I win, yay. Go me. New event unlock, yay. Where, where'd the controller go? There's the controller. Ugh. Is this thing even recording still? Maybe yes, maybe no.